From this video onward, we are going to discuss about memory ordering options in the C++ memory model. If you are going to implement lock-free data structures, this is the most important part of this video series. C++ standards specify six memory ordering options. Memory order sequential consistent, memory order relaxed, memory order acquire, memory order release, memory order acquire release, and finally memory order consume. By using this memory ordering options with the atomic operation, we can create synchronization point in the code. The precise locations where we can use these options will be addressed throughout this video series. First let's see where we can specify these options. As shown in this example, we can specify memory ordering options with atomic operation after the parameters. So, in case of two operation, as in this statement, we can specify the memory ordering option after the parameter. In case of load, the memory ordering option will be the only parameter. And in case of compare exchange weak or compare exchange strong, you can specify two memory ordering options, one for the successful scenario and other one for the failure scenario. So if the desired value is stored to the x variable, here it will use the memory order release. But in case of failure, it will use memory order and relax. So for the compact chain case, even though you can specify two memory ordering options, actually you can ignore the second parameter. In that case, the first memory ordering option will be used for the failure scenario as well. So far, we haven't used any memory ordering option with our atomic operation. We have covered different atomic operation on different types, but we haven't specified any memory ordering option. Now, in that case, compiler will use memory order sequential consistent as a default option. So, places where you need to use memory ordering sequential consistent, actually you can ignore it. But for the clarity, I will explicitly specify that option as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you.